What's up, guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Joe's All-Star Tool Monday. Well, Joe's here, but Joe don't have a truck, obviously. And Joe don't have any tools, so let's take a look and see what Joe has to say today. Come on. Hi right, guys, how y'all doing? I hope uh, none of you got hurt by them storms. They were brutal, a lot of places. Um, no truck, but that Ford Field Service engineer did cut through a bunch of red tape and they did have me a brand new transmission sitting on the floor last Tuesday morning. So I got there last Monday when I got, you know, before I got there. Of course, I uh, didn't get to get started on it till when Friday, and so. Um, <laughs> I just course, keep I was, pushing you. I was, all I was being promised all week. Oh yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. But uh, so, talking to the guy uh, as close to me getting it today, but uh, there was some other part that had broke or some part that leaked, and not on the transmission, but some other part he's taking apart. Oh great, that's what'll go out next time. Hmm. That's what will go out next time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyway, so he's getting them replaced. He says, I can put it together, and you can come back, and we can put them on. I go, no, no. He says, it's going to be here. The stuff will be here tomorrow. I says, you just get the stuff. Put it on. I said, oh, I have to bring it back. He yeah. says, put it on. It's just one more day. So, yeah, I'm uh, ad-libbing it. I got, uh, I got my Dodge Dakota here, which I'm going to leave at one of my friend's shops that uh, can keep it under lock gate and you know be able you might to make need to do leave it at the ford dealership and that way you'll have a way home when that thing breaks down when you leave I ain't leaving nothing at ford dealership <laughs> i'd leave some but you know i want the c4 with me not that i said that out loud but anyways <laughs> so storms last friday i went up to waynesboro now that's one of my areas that got hit pretty hard yeah and i mean they got slammed um, the whole town was without power from one end to the other. And it's like I told my wife, I says, there's no sense for me going up here. TVC I went to, they were all out on the road. I called the one guy up. He says, yeah, we're working shifts. We started all night and some of us went home to get some C's. It's going to be, right. you know, like Sunday before we get everybody going, if we're lucky. Wow. Um, but I had my outside shops. They were people that own shops at home and so I got to see them and um, you, know, you can't get away from that when your shops at home yep. uh, but there, nobody well actually I think some one person did get hurt up there in Waynesboro but not not killed but right. uh, and it's I hate to hear where people got killed in that but um, for the most part a lot of people did not get hurt just mm -hmm. a lot of damage and then uh, the next wave of storms came through. I'm telling you, I never seen so much lightning before. Mm, I mean, yeah, it was a lot. my wife and I, we, we'll sit, you know, we have all the windows overlooking and we'll be turning off all the lights in the house, watch TV, just watch, uh, you know, the lightning display. Well, I'm telling you, it was on top of our mm, house. Mm -hmm. It was a lot we of We were standing by the window and just looking out and it was so bright. I mean, it was so bright, you couldn't see. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was right like smack right on top of us. It was incredible. Um, I mean, I've never seen it like that before. And then uh, my little creek, uh, from when I got, when we first brought it years ago, there were places you could walk, you know, kind of walk, hop, and jump across it and, you know, maybe not get your feet wet. Well, with all these big rains coming up, it keeps getting deeper and deeper. Now you can't do that unless you're wearing... You know, you're wearing boots that are rubber up to here, and there's yeah. places, you know, you, your ankles are deep. Well, it keeps getting deeper and getting wider. But mm -hmm. with these storms, it, by the bridges and that, where it's like 80, almost 100 feet wide, it gets at least 12 feet tall, that little creek. I mean, it's a roaring river. I took a video from the house where you don't see it and you can see it. Mm -hmm. I can hear it without my hearing aids. I mean, that's, that's just amazing. I mean, yeah. like I said, I said, I can, 
So I don't know if the phone's picking up, but I can hear this. Yep. Um, so I'm hoping everybody does good. I'm really banking on getting my truck because I got tools in there. Um, so I hope everybody's done good. I just wish you all the best, and uh, next time you see me, hopefully, we're, I'll have a truck for a hopefully. little bit till I get something else done, taking care of what we're going to do with it. Uh, I hope you drive that son of a bitch to the dealership and trade it in. Is what I hope you do. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I got to do all the paperwork ahead the night before. Now when I get in, I got to go through all the paperwork, all the notes, stuff people bought, stuff people want to get. Mm -hmm. And then I got to do everybody else's paperwork. If I get to bed before midnight, you know, that's, a, that's an early day. Um, and then 6 o'clock comes early except for Fridays where fri I got to get up at 5. But, uh, yeah, just, just having that relief for not having to deal with that. Every day, you know, yeah. constantly working till the time I, you know, got to go to bed and start all over again will be a relief. Well, hopefully you will get it back and yep. maybe you can get it traded off and, and then have that problem. And on the flip side, I'll technically have a new engine and a new tranny. But well, it that, started I, out as a new truck, didn't it? It did. And it didn't last very long, did it? I didn't get out, I didn't get out of town the first weekend with it. Joe, you need to learn from your mistakes. I know, I know. Sell that joker with a new engine, a new transmission. Yep, <laughs> let that's, it go. that's what uh, that'll be a good thing. thing. So I wish you all the best. Uh, anything you need, do give me a call. I know my number is, what is my number? 731-412-7295. It's down there at the bottom of the screen. Text Joe. Like always, guys, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. And check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is in the description. If you're not subscribed, it's real easy. You take your finger and you punch that button. Just click it. All right, Joe. Best of luck. See y'all. Here we go.